Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to be trying to land Valentina on the moon. Finally, we've run into some problems uh, recently, so let's hope that it goes better this time. Uh, I think we're cleared for launch. Three, two, one. Uh, uh, game? Okay, there it goes. Woo! Okay, so we've got a launch abort system in case anything goes horribly wrong, but this should be a simple burn straight up. We've got it lined up perfectly. We're going for the dangerous yet efficient option. We've literally spent all of the space agency's money except for like a few hundred dollars, so uh, we kind of need this to go well. This has to go well or we are in a lot of trouble. Our approach is getting closer and closer to the moon. It may not look like much, but it gets much faster as it goes further and further away from Kerbin's gravity. Come on. Do that thing where you go exponentially faster and leave me with fuel left over because this is a good rocket and we didn't completely make a mistake. Okay, we've got about a thousand meters per second left in Delta V. Kind of better than all of our other approaches, really. Wait, what? It said we were gonna have an approach. What is this? What on earth? Yeah, excuse me. Okay, we just had to use more because for some reason the game was wrong. There we go, okay. There we go, 25,000 above. We're gonna kill off all the velocity we can. And then we're gonna land. We're gonna pull this off, guys. This is the moment we've been landing, waiting for. Let's try to land inside of that crater. That would be a fantastic call. Okay, looking good. I think we're going to pull this off pretty perfectly, actually. This, this is gonna be one for the history books. We are now on trajectory to land in the crater. We're gonna make sure it's in like the middle of the crater. Okay, beautiful. Let's let ourselves move a little bit. We are very, very close now. We're gonna make sure we actually go into the crater. I think this actually is the crater. Yeah. Wow, it's massive. It's kind of hard to tell where it starts. And now that we're inside of it, let's begin our burn down to the surface. We're going to extend our legs, because why not at this point? I'd rather not forget. We've got plenty of fuel at least to get down. We'll figure out getting back up. These bad boys may actually have enough to get us into orbit. Um. If we need to do a rescue mission for Valentina, that's fine. I'm 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 good enough to do that. She's got a lot of life support supplies up here, enough to last plenty of time. We could actually establish a moon base with the amount of supplies she has. We're just going to make this a very gentle descent. Very gentle. Look at that. That right there is just beauty. We are ready to land on the moon. What a beautiful shot. Valentina knows that her time has come. This this is it. She's been training for this. Pretty much all of our uh, side to side velocity is gone. Now we're just going straight down.
So we're just gonna let ourselves fall a bit because we're still 16,000 meters above. 14, 13, 12, let's switch to from the ground. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this velocity we've gained. With a pretty fast burn. Let's make sure that we get down really, really smooth. Valentine is gonna be vibing on the moon. I mean, it's, it's exciting. Our first Kerbal to touch down in this series, um, especially considering the amount of scientific equipment we've got on board. It's a very exciting moment. Getting back home is going to be a different story. I, I'm not sure we're going to be able to do it with this. We're probably going to have to send someone to get her off, but I was kind of planning that in the beginning. I didn't think we were going to be able to get back, and we don't have enough money until she gets onto the moon. Once she gets onto the moon, we get a huge surge in funding. And I mean, the Senate will have to fund it at that point. They can't just leave Valentina on the moon. With plenty of fuel, just conserve this stage and use it for ascent. Yeah, yeah, I think I do, but at the same time, 400 meters per second is not much at all. The solid rocket boosters, I think, are going to be very helpful. I think I can throw myself off. Okay, here we go. 14 meters per second. Nine, eight. If we can just keep it at a steady like eight, I think that's a safe fall. Five, four, three, point five. There we go. We did it. We have landed on the moon. We've got confirmation from Valentina. We have touched down worlds first. We did it. We have landed on the surface of the moon. A ton of contracts were just completed. That's exciting. First thing we're gonna do is do a quick save. Do, do, do. <laughs> and then we're going to go to the space center and get some beautiful beautiful contracts um that we can hopefully fulfill right now like at this exact moment okay valentina let's do an eva okay make sure you've got your rcs on okay would you look at that we have success we have touchdown on the moon. Valentina is very, very happy about this. It's time to plant the Vuperian flag. We did it! We pulled it off! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, first moon landing. Hail Vuperia. <laughs> we did it! Yes! Oh, look how happy! <laughs> yes! We pulled it off! Oh, Valentina is so happy with the situation. Oh, one small step for man, one giant leap for Vuperia. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. We're do 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 man we are getting very far away this is actually kind of scary um i, I don't like the distance we're going away from the rocket but uh, i guess you gotta take risks this is gonna bring us pretty close 
I like Minmus because Minmus it takes like no propellant to do anything. Yeah, yeah, I think that a rover would have been really smart. Although a rover would have had a little bit of trouble with these uh, cliffs. There we go, there we go, there we go. We did it. We did it. We are where we should be. Safe landing. Oh, look at that. That was a nice one. Okay, Evo report. Can we even transmit? No. no. Is that it? Was that it? Yes! We did it! <laughs> Finally! We pulled it off! We got a lot of money though, which was the point. Let's check out the Space Center and see if we have enough money to upgrade the science area so that we can get an EVA sample. Well, it wasn't a binding resolution, it was just to see what the Senate thought. Okay, but you know what? We can actually take a surface sample. Oh, uh, see, we get 180 science instead of 45 if we go back. I mean... We gotta think about things in terms of, like value what has the most value to the average vuperian and the amount of science that we're going to get from this is of more value to the average vuperian than this bragging we can do if we made a base i mean i like bragging too but okay i think her eva stuff should be refilled now yeah, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Let's get another sample. We're gonna get all the samples. We are going to have to figure out a way to recover this. I think the first thing is gonna be getting a satellite into the orbit of the moon so that we can send information back and forth. And that satellite will have a uh, package of goodies on it. I think that's our best bet. So guys, thank you for watching. We have landed on the moon. <coughs> it was successful. Um, and now's the next stage, which is getting a base now. Uh, bringing some things to Valentina to help. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. We've got 90 days. 90 days to get her some supplies. Let's just save. And that's going to be it for today. <laughs> we tried everything. Um, but it's not the end of the world. Bye! Hail Buperia, we landed on the moon.